Hello folks, welcome to bispetrainings.com. My name is Amit and today I am going to show you an example of Trellis View. It's a part of our learning series called OBA Advanced Data Visualization Techniques. So what is Trellis View and why do we need it? See, Trellis View is a presentation of multidimensional model. Multidimensional model, right? Where multidimensional view like you have a double dimension array which in turn one cell of double dimension array is another cell. Okay. Trellis view is meaningful when you want to compare uh, multiple sets. Trellis view, trellis view allows you to display multiple view at one for a quick comparison. There are two kind of trellis view. One is simple trellis and advanced trellis. Let's see what requirement which we are going to solve today using trellis view. So this is my requirement. My business user would like to see product brand, uh, the comparison of unit price and cost across different product brand and different region. And you see the bar over here, these are the months. So it's like this summary view, cost and unit price trend by different product and different office. If you look at this carefully, it's like a huge double dimension array which, which in turn is another one cell of double dimension array is in turn a bar graph. So there are so many bar graph. If you like to have a you know summary view of in a larger scale you can use a trellis view. So let's see how to design it. I also like to show you trellis view look like this in multidimensional format. Now if you look at carefully I have a here I'm trying to present my information with respect to my three dimension one major. Uh, I have a time dimension over here quarter and months it's a hierarchy. I have a different province, New York, New Jersey, Ohio and product. This is a two-dimensional view of my product and province. It's another two-dimensional view of my uh, majors called sales, cost of goods sold, margin and different months. So they are two-dimensional array. I put this double dimension array inside another. So This is how it looks like. In this example we are showing the numbers. All the trellis view we can display spark line, spark bar, numbers and spark area. I put this double dimension inside this, this is how it looks like. We could have done the other way around as well. Put the product and province into this double dimension array. Therefore it looks like this way. So it is giving me a detailed view across different product, different province with respect to different majors and time dimension. Let's see how to design this in OBI. Okay. In order to design in OBI, I am going to use OBI sample sales, RPD and um, We'll select the required column, click on file new, I mean new analysis, go sample sales. So what major I like to see? As per the requirement, we would like to see uh, product cost, unit price across different product brand, different office region and months. So we need three, three dimension, product brand, office region and months with respect to my cost and unit price, right. Let's see this how to build it. So I'll select all the dimension first. I need time, which I need months. I would like to confine to individual year. So I'll apply filter for year 2010. Okay. Then I like to see for different time, different product brand and uh, different office region. Office region I will take as a hierarchy so that we allow people to drill down to the detail level. And what measure you like to evaluate? I like to evaluate unit cost, uh, net cost and actual unit price. Right. So when I process it, the default view would be tabular view. Okay. I will delete the tabular view and add a new view called trellis. Click on advance and this is a default view of trellis, right? Let's edit this and make it meaningful as per our requirements. So it's a cross tabular view, right? It means it may have a rows and column. By default, it doesn't have any column. So I'll take product line of business in my column. So different product line of business, different office region, and with respect to my two majors, uh, net cost and unit price. You can change the label okay, to make it more meaningful. Change the format heading and change the label um, and I like to display them in a row one below other both the majors because I have got more than one major I like to display this one below other 
and there are multiple ways to display them. Display them as a number. You see, I can display them as a number. Unit net cost is displaying as a number, whereas actual unit price is displaying as a spark bar. I can display both of them as a number. Okay, so it look like very similar to your keyword view, right? I could display one of them as a line, line bar, unit cost, and net cost also display as a line, spark line. Uh, I also like to see with this to different time period. So I drop a line over here, my time dimension, because it's displaying the dot. Okay. So I put and place on a line. So with respect to different time period for 12 months, for a given year 2010, uh, my net cost and advanced unit price. Isn't it? Because we have used a hierarchy so that we can further drill down. I click on America from uh, region to territory, territory to province, I mean country to province, we can further drill down to this. So trellis view give you a very detailed view in a larger way to compare your multiple majors and multiple dimension in one go. So that's it for today. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel to find more advanced data visualization and data analytical options. Thanks for joining today's video. Should you have any question, please feel free to write to us or you can visit our site www.bisptrainings.com. Thank you and have a great day ahead.